Oh, man. It's just like old times, hey? Army-Navy game happens. Navy whoops the Army. Don't even know why you call it the Army-Navy game anymore. Might as well just call it the Navy goes to fat camp because it's the first time you guys have done PT this entire year. Not to mention, your players don't have to fall within height and weight requirements. Ours do. So you purposely let your guys break regulation just so you can win. That's that's totally unfair. You know, someday, and, and you might learn this, uh, you have to bend some rules uh, to win. It's called tactics. You don't want that. You don't want me to start bending rules against the United States Navy. Your players won't make it to the field. Yeah, they'll be so busy laughing at your attempts at trying to do anything about it. At the end of the day, I'm still not the fattest branch. Still smarter than you. Hey, how about you shut it the fuck up, human ballast? Bullet sponge! Guys, guys, it's just a football game. Relax. We still are the reigning champions everywhere else in the world. Remember, that is simply an American football game. The entire rest of the world refer to something else as football. Yeah, the entire rest of the world also didn't invent super weapons. So, it's a lot of big talk from somebody who's about 72 hours from becoming my 51st state if I decide to. You know, instead of talking trash, shouldn't you be solving the drone problem you have on your east coast? I know exactly what it is. I don't think you do, but either way, I'm, I'm intrigued. I mean, think about it. Things floating in the air this time of year. It's obviously Santa Claus doing some reconnaissance. I've been working on my list. I just sent it out to him. The first five things on the list are all the same. I want an interception, so I repeated it. Maybe, maybe he can work on that for me and just... I've been really, really good this year. I, I just had a little burp. Sorry about that. Huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure Santa's gonna work on that. Uh, you know, what else was on your list? Well, there, there was a pogo stick on my list. I'm just wrapping my brain around how an F-22 could use a pogo stick. Um... What else is on your list? Because I'm pretty sure you can't use a pogo stick. Uh, let's see. Uh, the, the key to the hangar. Uh, or, or a lock picking kit. I understand the man's busy, so dealer's choice. Uh, a couple of AIM-120 AMRAMs. Uh, enough fuel to get to Russia. And, and maybe a jet to refuel me on the way there. I, my legs aren't that long, so. What color pogo stick? You guys are way behind. It's obviously an Iranian mothership that's parked off the coast and they're doing reconnaissance to figure out where to bomb us. We should just glass the whole country. Well, I would love for that to be true. It is not me. At least this time. Buff, it's not an Iranian mothership that's sending down drones for reconnaissance or anything like that. They don't even have that technological ability. Are you sure? I mean, are you completely 100% sure that they haven't, like, I don't know, gassed up their fucking magic carpet and decided to come on over? We should just bomb them in the first place. We just just take care of it. You know, they, we're just really kicking the can down the road. Why don't we just, you know, make Iran glass again? Number one, I have never been glass. And number two, why do you hate me so much? Like, seriously, dude. Like, the fuck did I do to you? It's those goddamn F-4 Phantoms you have. One of them shot me in the ass years ago, but that's a story for another fucking time. Listen, everybody's wrong. It's not Santa Claus. I'm sorry, kid. He's up at the North Pole this time of year. He ain't doing no recon. It's, it's kind of crunch time for that man. Number two, it's not Iran. It's aliens. They're coming on down here to probe us and stuff. Why in the fuck would we go to New Jersey? They act like we don't pay attention to the way things work in their world. Like, we want to park our spaceship somewhere where somebody's going to steal the rims off of it. I'm telling y'all, it happens all over our country. But people don't talk about it because they have no memory of it. Aliens use the memory wipe technology. So that way, you don't know what's happened. <laughs> if, if we're using memory wipe technology, you have no memory of the fact that you disappeared. <laughs> You guys act like we've been doing this for a day. <laughs> My uncle, he was abducted by aliens long, long time ago. He was out on his property, sitting on the porch, not bothering anybody. And then right as he was hitting his meth pipe, wham, 
He doesn't know what happened. And 12 hours later, he woke up naked in a field. Yeah, now I am 100% positive that we had nothing to do with that. Sky Warden, it's... <laughs> it's not aliens. Oh, yeah? How can you be so sure? Because if it was aliens and we decided that it was some kind of threat, I probably would have let the kid out. Let him show him who's made in God's image. God damn it! Why couldn't it be fucking aliens? Nah, dude. All you guys are wrong. Do you know how many UFO reports there were when I was being developed? <laughs> so that's probably all it is. It's another government program, man. That That's actually uh, probably the most logical answer that I've heard out of all of you guys so far. Um, but most likely also no. Why well, give us a goddamn answer? We're sitting out here just guessing until we're blue in the face. Santa Claus, secret government agency, aliens, aggressive Jehovah's Witness. What the fuck is it? Okay, so right now, my running theory, and this is for everybody out there, is that it was one person screwing around with a drone, and we have a whole bunch of copycats. But it's a good story, so they're going to continue to embellish and push things as best they possibly could. This is just like when the kid shot down the balloon. Everyone was like, how did we not notice this balloon sneaking up on us? But a week later, and it didn't get hardly any news coverage, the U.S. Navy and Air Force was like, yeah, we watched this thing take off from this island, tracked it all the way across the Pacific, and then when it got close to the U.S., that's when everybody else found out about it. There are too many active sensors in this world and in this country for us not to know where they are and where they're coming from. Plus, drones have this little thing called remote controls. And on the EM spectrum, a remote control that is reaching out to a drone is bright as the sun. There's already been several arrests in this, and most likely they're copycats. So, probably nothing to worry about, realistically. So what you're telling me is... This story sucks... And I can't bomb Iran, and the kid can't shoot it the fuck down. Uh, yeah. Well, now I just think it's a cover-up, and you don't want me to bomb Iran. Grandpa, he's definitely covering for Santa Claus. He's covering it up. It's aliens from outer space. They're going to lay their eggs in our butthole. I'm telling you guys, it's still a cover-up of a government program. Well, all of you can go ahead and return to your echo chamber. There's plenty going on in the world that I still haven't talked about, and this took up the majority of this video. So, South Korea, heard you're impeaching your president. Uh, yes, sir, we are. He stepped over the line with the martial law. So, we are removing him. And we also used those T-80s that were sent to us by Russia to pay their debt. Uh, we used them as target practice for our K-2s. It was very nice. Well, shit. If Poland is little European Texas, you might be little Asian Florida. That shit's based. They paid you in tanks. And you're like, cool, I'm going to shoot the fuck out of these. I, that, and mm, based. Based. You did what? The tanks that I paid you with? You know what? It's fine. It's fine. My debt to South Korea has been paid off. You can do whatever you want with the tanks. I don't care. Well, we just wanted them to feel at home. Just like all of the other T-80s you sent to Ukraine. So now... They are full of holes. You know, even after all the bad shit I heard about how South Korea is controlled by corporations like way worse than America, I'm still... I'm still pretty proud of you. Like, shit, yeah. It doesn't matter, America. You still do not have any hypersonics. Well, you're half right. Um, by your definition, I have had hypersonics since, like, 1946. Because you count anything that hits over Mach 5 during its flight path as a hypersonic. Now, my definition is it has to maintain those speeds all the way to target. For example, your Kinzel is claiming that it can do up to Mach 10. Now, it does that at Apogee while it's way outside the atmosphere because you launch it from 20,000 feet from the bottom of one of your aircraft. As it's re-entering the atmosphere, it is simply just falling. It doesn't have a powered descent. Now, why does it have a powered descent? People think that's a really simple thing to solve. But in reality is, this is commonly referred to as the rocket problem. Because when you put more fuel on board to give it a powered descent, it now weighs more. So then you have to put more fuel on board to offset the amount of that weight. And then you reduce the uh, range that it can go to. This is just kind of an exponential increasing problem. But then again, as the fuel exits the back of that rocket motor, it has to be moving at such a speed to create an amount of thrust that propels that object forward at greater than Mach 5 speeds. Outside the atmosphere, super easy to do. Inside the atmosphere, really fucking hard to do. Well, what if I told you I have solved the rocket problem? No, you haven't. 
Because I haven't. Well, kind of. <laughs> I'm almost there. Working on the long-range hypersonic weapon. Just finished another test on it. Maintains hypersonic speeds throughout the entirety of its flight path, all the way to impact. Ah, which means that in about five to ten years, China will successfully steal the plans to it. They'll make a knockoff version that's super cheap and not really functioning. Then they'll sell it to you. It's kind of a trickle-down effect. Like, I am the tippy-top of this motherfucker, and then it all the way gets down to you. Like uh, some weird human centipede of military equipment. What do you talk about, America? The great China designed their own weapon systems. Literally half of your inventory is either stolen American versions or remanufactured Russian versions. Have you not looked at, like, your J-35, your Z-20? Like, your Z-20 is a Black Hawk off of Wish. Look at America. They cannot stand that somebody else might be designing something better or first than them. So they make all these assumptions that they were the first to do it. Huh? What now? I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was busy squeezing light. You're doing what now? Yeah, DARPA. They're over here working on a thing. They figured out that if you can take a wave of light and squeeze it, you can reduce the wavelength and reduce the amount of noise and increase sensor fidelity without uh, having to increase power. So I'm just over here squeezing light to make all of my sensors more effective. What are you doing today? <laughs>